Okay, so you bought for yourself the iPhone 14 Pro and as you know, it doesn't have any charger in this thin box. So you're gonna have to end up charging it somehow. Now, what are your options? If you are upgrading from an old iPhone, you can use the old 5 watt charger, or you can buy a brand new one, something like the 30 watt charger. Or if you wanna go over the top, since the iPhone 14 Pro has the fast charging, why not charging it with this huge brick from your MacBook or something? Well, which one should you use? And that's the topic of this video. So, of course, you should use always the best certified, I mean, the official, like, power bricks from Apple, because in case something happens, then, uh, well, it's always a good idea to use the official one from Apple. It's going to be working the best. Anyways, you can use the original 5 wood, which is going to charge your iPhone normally. I mean, it's not going to be, like, a huge deal, especially during the night, because during the entire night, if you leave your iPhone plugged in, you'll definitely have a full battery in the morning. It wouldn't be such a big problem. However, the bigger you get at the better or is it the case well there this has been tested well as you can see here on the screen is the data of what's really going on with the iphone battery uh, and uh, the charging uh, the data is in chinese but it pretty much tracks uh, how much of the wattage can actually get to the iphone so if you use 18 watt power brick 17.79 so almost the entire thing just gets through so it uses the full potential of the power brick and it just keeps on going like this when you use 20 watt it's okay but when you go further beyond that it pretty much just caps at 26 27 watts so that means that even if you plug your iphone in on like a huge power break you can see this one is for example 61 watts it's from the macbook well the result is going to be actually the same when you compare it to something like the 30 watt power adapter it both caps it at 26 watts so it's not going to charge it any further and that's probably a software thing which is going on inside the iphone because uh, the internals want to prevent some overheating or like over exposure to the power so uh, that's probably not a good idea to charge it with the, like the most like biggest power brakes available to you and even if you do you can see that here on the screen in the test they also included the 140 watts which is like a huge power break and still the result was very comparable to like the regular 30 watts so yes if you use the 5 watt power adapter it's going to be charging at 5 watts or 4.9 or something and when you upgrade to the 30 it's going to be definitely a big difference but beyond at this point it's not going to be anything noticeable because really in real life nothing really happens so uh, I would still not think that it's a good idea to use the big one from MacBook or the old one from the iPad or something. But uh, if you really want to pay for the new one, just buy the 30 watt official power brick. That would be my recommendation because that's going to be uh, actually working properly. It's going to be the official one from Apple. It also has the USB-C connector because here, for example, the 5 watts have the regular USB-A, which is kind of outdated. And uh, as of right now, most of the cables with your Apple devices, if there are any cables in the box, to be honest, well, most of them come with the USB-C. Okay, so the results or the takeaways from the video would be uh, would be this, would be following. If you have the 5 watt power adapter, it's not going to harm your iPhone, obviously, but there are much better and faster charging options for your iPhone 14 Pro. If you charge your iPhone during the night, plugging it in with this 5 watt old power brake is going to be fine, most likely till the morning, especially if you have the optimized battery charging. It's just going to like get used to your charging habits and stuff, so you should be fine. Also, you can use the wireless charger, which also caps at like 15, 14 watts or something. So that's something which you can also use. However, for the fastest experience, buy the 30 watts power adapter from Apple. You can also use technically use the power adapter from your Mac or anything larger, like a huge power brick like this one, although you're not going to get anything out of it as if you charge it with the 30 watt one. So yeah, you shouldn't technically harm it with the huge one, but you're not getting anything out of it. So that would be about it. Hope the video helps you out. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech Devices and also check out the next video right here. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.